Welcome back to the GDS video series. This one's going to talk about the arch, bulkhead, and height tabs. So those are tabs 8 through 10 in the drawing window of the WinBid Pro V15 program by GDS. And let's see, arch tops, those are um, very common these days, or, or at least a lot more common. And what we can do with those is add an arch top. So we start out with a rectangular drawing, and this is just a simple five panel opening. Uh, we've already put our you know, height and width, and uh, it divides out the panels equally. But we can add the arch top a couple of different ways. We can say we want to arch top from panel one to three. And we can say either what's the radius of the actual arch, which would just be from the uh, uh, you know, the flat top to the actual top of the arc, or or actually not. It depends on um, how flat it is. So the radius could be down here more. It could be right even if it's, an, if it's a perfect circle or a perfect half circle. So that you'd have to be working off of drawings pretty much to do that. If, um, if I wanted to tell it just the, the top of the arch is 20 inches above um, the flat top, then that's another way to do it. So... Let's say I do it that way. I put in a 20 here. And then there's a checkbox. So there's two ways to tell it how to draw it, basically. And then we can tell it also, do we want to keep this horizontal material under the arch or not? So let's say I do want to keep it. So I'm going to check that box. And now I'm going to hit Add a Drawing. So there it is from panel 1 to 3. And I just told it it had a rise of 20 inches. So that's the actual rise above the flat top. So the rise is above wherever it intersects these verticals. And um, so the radius of this would actually be further down here somewhere, wherever the, the complete circle center would be. And I can actually edit this by telling it to go to a different panel. Um, now there's some parameters that have to be met because if I try and tell, um, it has to be either a perfect half circle or flatter. It can't obviously go stick up more and not be a half circle anymore. So there's limitations on what values you can enter to, to basically determine how to draw it properly. But um, so there you see it's, it's left that header material in. So now the verticals do not run through in this case. You'll see that. So now if I want to actually add another arch, or let's, let's remove this one. And let's say I want to add an arch from panel 3 to 5. So I'm going to go 3 to 5. And this time I could say, what's the radius? So the radius would be at a minimum half of the distance between these. So it can be greater, obviously. So let's say it's um, 80 inches. And then I'm going to say, take out the horizontal material. And let's add the drawing. So there, that's the other look you can get. The verticals run through, the horizontal materials removed, and um, I've got my radius arch, which I entered based on a radius. So, so that's pretty much it. When you add the glass, um, watch the video on the glass tab, and we'll cover adding glass to radius uh, arches too. And um, it's a little tricky to add it into the actual radius itself. You're clicking on the the arch piece instead of inside the arch. And that's pretty much it for the arch top tab. So that's how you can do it. Um, the bulkhead tab, let's, let's add that. So to add a bulkhead, which is basically just a stepped up sill, uh, you were clicking add and we're telling it how high it's stepping up and then we're telling it where it needs to go. So all panels, you don't really need to do all panels unless it's a caulking issue and you want the dimensions to show a step up from the ground level or something like that. So it depends on if you're working with net frame size or opening size or, or whatever you're working on. Um, but in this case, I'm just going to say I want the bulkhead to come into panel 1 and 2 at 12 inches. So I selected panels 1 and 2. And there's that little step up in uh, in the bulkhead. So that's pretty simple. I can actually uncheck a panel if I want. It, this was a similar thing that uh, appeared in the unequal panel tab also. You'll see this throughout the, the t drawing tabs where some things where you have selected panels, you can actually modify those selections after entering them in. Um, so I added it back in by clicking it again. So 
that's uh, the bulkhead tab. So that one's pretty simple. Now I can get even trickier and say in the height tab, I want to change the height. So instead of the the top of the flat going all the way up to 120 inches, you'll notice when we added the arch, it redimensioned the, the, the height of the arch over here. And it dimensions even the bottom of the, um, the bottom for the glass. So uh, where are we here? So we're going to change the height of panel one. So I would select the panel in panel one. And then I would go in and tell it what that new height would be. So right now it's 120. Let's say I need it to be 100. So it's going to shrink that down to 100 inches. So not only do I have a bulkhead raising the sill, but I also have the head condition changing and dropping it down. You'll notice it's kind of a stepping thing like we covered in the cascade or step tab here. But uh, this is how you would accomplish an unequal step up in a cascade type configuration. So if you didn't want them equally divided or equally spaced, then you'd have to change the height of each individual panel. But if you only need one or two panels changed, and you want to specify the height, this is the easiest way to do it with the height uh, tab here. So again, we've got our check boxes for the selected panels and everything. So um, I wouldn't mess with the one next to the arch, but we can try it and just see what happens. So yeah, it still leaves that vertical sticking up, so that's fine. But uh, so this is how easy it is just to change the height of a panel and to change where the sill is on a given panel and then uh, obviously to add an arch to the drawing. So that's pretty much it for this video. Thanks.